My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Is this not a gorgeous 72 Duster? You could put these colors and stripes on a garbage truck and it's going to look beautiful. We got a 1972 Duster 340, number match car. Like I said, great colors. Got bucket seats and console. Got a posi rear. It's so clean underneath, it's painted blue just like the body. You can go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, and you can get the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars. They're all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. <clears throat> You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, how about you join me? Let's go for a spin in a 72 Plymouth Duster. Yeah, underneath the car is original metal, and it's so clean. They prepped it and painted it blue. The frame rails and floors and the, the inner quarters, you know, where all the slop gets thrown up there and it rots them out. It's all clean metal. Uh, so really impressive underneath. He put a new sending unit in the fuel tank. Uh, the transmission was completely rebuilt. A new torque converter. Uh, actually, the rear end he also had completely rebuilt and has 355 sure grip uh, gears in there. Uh, you look up at the motor and it's clean, the inspection cover is new, the oil pan is new, and it has a high torque starter uh, on the bottom of the motor. Uh, the front end components all look good, the uh, sway bar looks new, it's got four new uh, Monroe shocks on the car. Uh, the brakes were redone, got new drums in front, uh, the emergency brake cables look like they're hooked up. It's got a great sounding exhaust, which you'll hear in a little bit. It's got some nice headers going to a nice, I think a two and a half inch pipe with a crossover pipe and Flowmaster 40 uh, series headers with the correct chrome tips coming out the back. So underneath the car, A+. <clears throat> the body is A++. This thing is straight. It was born B5 blue. It was born with the white stripe, white vinyl top, born with the mirrors. Of course, the Duster 340 comes with the scooped hood. And this one has the strobe stripe down the middle. So it's really decked out. Also has the fender uh, turn signal indicators, uh, the correct antenna. Uh, anyway, back to the body. It is smooth and straight. Look at how the panels line up real nice. I felt all along there, there's no bubbles. A few tiny little rock chips. I uh, actually think some of that's just road grease that'll come off. But it is smooth, straight, and shiny. Did notice a nick right here. It's been touched up. Uh, the decal stripes are excellent. Here's another little nick touched up. I try and point out the ones I see. I might miss one, but I'm telling you, just standing here, it looks like a new car. Uh, the wheels are new. Uh, he bought reproduction wheels. The BF Goodrich tires are new. The vinyl top is pristine. It's the original glass, it's all real nice. A couple you know, light scratches or a little mark here or there, but it's all very nice. Also has the white decal back here with the 340 duster, a re-chrome bumper. A correct wing was added to the car, nice touch. Inside the trunk is all clean. It looks like original metal, uh, painted beautifully. The whole thing is glossy blue, has a new mat, new weather strip. There's a subwoofer back here. I can see two big speakers up there. There is a spare tire under the, uh, the lid down there. It's all bolted down. I did not open it up. I sucked my hand in there. I could feel a tire. It's got the proper jack all correct, uh, you know, in its proper location. The 340 motor was rebuilt. Up front here, the grill is really nice. It looks practically new to me. Bumpers re-chromed. Now let's see how smart I am figure out how to open the hood. Hey, not bad. Gentleman I bought the car from has owned it five years. He bought the car finished, pretty much like you see it. I have $12,000 in receipts that he 
you know, just little things that add up. You know, the rear end I told you about, the transmission. Uh, just going through the car and making it even better. He spent 12 grand. It's a complete breakdown of the uh, fender tag in here as well. The door jams are clean, nice clean metal, painted real nice. Weather strips look new. Sill plates are excellent. The rear quarter windows pop out. He has floor mats in the car. His driver mats and then his show mats. He would only put these in the car when he's at the car show with the duster embroidered on there. Inside's real nice. You got bucket seats. On the trim tag, when you decode it, they call this the charger interior. It's the higher end charger interior with the high back bucket seats. They're reupholstered. The console's original. Some of the chrome's got little pimples on the chrome, so that's real good, not, not new. Uh, the black metal is painted like a mirror. The door panels and knobs and handles and armrests look new. The seat belts look excellent. Carpets look new. Has the tough grip steering wheel. Back to the motor. Uh, it's been reworked. It has bigger valves. And uh, God, I didn't look at the list before I started the video, but it's all on our website. There's a bunch of work done to the motor. It is the VIN number matching original motor to the car. This has its original fender tag right here with all the codes. The number up here on the core support matches the car. The VIN number sticker in the door jam matches the car. It does have an aluminum intake, a dual feed carburetor looks new. Actually, I think it is on his list of the new items. Uh, there's ceramic coated headers, a matched set of Mopar finned aluminum valve covers and an air cleaner. Uh, alternators new and everything's here you got the horns you got the hood insulation the squirters are hooked up batteries bolted down properly uh, this is a factory electronic ignition system that came on this car and the stereo it's got a 400 watt amplifier it's a modern stereo and when you're sitting in there the instrument panel all that looks real nice I will be very honest with you. He was honest enough to tell me the gas gauge works. It's not 100% accurate, so don't let it run down to empty. Uh, put some gas in there. He actually kept a little log and wrote it down. But he says he replaced the sending unit. He replaced the gauge. He replaced everything related to it. And it, it works, but it's just not 100% accurate. Uh, not a big deal if you're aware of it. Just don't let it run down to empty. Uh, it's got an aftermarket tachometer, aftermarket oil pressure gauge down below the dash, a Mopar gauge. See the motor compartment, how it's all nice, clean metal. Doesn't look like it's twisted or rusted or, uh, you know, no damage. It's all just real nice in here. The clutch fan, the pulleys look new. Okay, let's hear them Series 40 Flowmasters. Cushions in the seats are real nice. Headliner's excellent. The visors, the mirror. I did drive this car home uh, a few weeks ago before the weather turned bad, and it, it rode and drove real nice. I like a little performance small block motor. Light works in the glove box. This is the owner's manual. The lights down below the dash work. Looks like the dome light's not working right now. Yeah. Had a little bit of a high idle. Door shuts real nice. It'll come down once it warms up a minute. have it this isn't like your typical duster you get these colors in this condition buckets console just a striped spoiler everything about it this is a hot duster visit volocars.com plenty of ways to contact the salesman 
I just gave you my honest impression of what I know of this car. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They will help you with that. They will also make the financing, shipping, uh, paperwork real easy for you. Go to volocars.com to get started. If you just enjoy watching the videos, that's great. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.